This is NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. It's Wednesday, up day, and we're ready to bring you all the action. I'm Kevin Harlan here along with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr with Doris Burke on the sideline. The Cleveland Cavaliers coming to this one after a win against Chicago. And I thought, guys, they were the beneficiary of what was a, some lackluster defense being played against them. I agree with you. I mean, it was really shocking how many free runs to the hoop they got. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. CP3 at point with Reddick near the backboard. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. And it's Barnes in at the three, the small four. You know, it's always nice to get the easy look inside for your first points of the game. I agree. It settles a team down offensively, and you establish success in the post. That forces the defense to make some adjustments. On defense, Cleveland. DeAndre Jordan has always had an act for the incredible. And it usually manifests itself in his dunks or blocks. But last year, he committed himself more on the defensive end, and it really made a difference for him. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Paul passes to Jordan. Not enough on that one as it misses. Or Cleveland, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Shumpert, no good. The Clippers have gone two for four from the field so far today. Barnes dishes the ball. Reddick for three. Barnes kicks to Jordan. Pass to Reddick. Paul with the ball. Guarded now by Irving. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Schumper gets a wide-open look. Second shot opportunity. And Jordan sends it back. Barnes kicks to Griffin. And stolen by James. The pull-up. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Mozgov. Irving's got his second bucket tonight. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Nobody near Barnes. It's good from long range. And a lot of times, his first quarter seems to dictate how big of a role he plays later on when he's off to the good start. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play him. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. And let's now look at the shooting guard position for a moment to see which of them has the hottest hands since the All-Star break. Take a look at Reddick, a great player, second in the league. Just ask this group. Uh, sometimes when you're hot, you're hot. And it's a comforting feeling for a coach to know you've got one of those guys roaming the perimeter. And not just on the perimeter. I mean, all of these players drive the lane very effectively. Yeah, they're excellent outside shooters, but it's getting to the rim and finishing in close quarters that puts those percentages as high as they are. If I'm him, I'm looking to move the ball the rest of the quarter because he cannot buy a shot. And he's able to get it back. Second chance shot. The shot's good from Paul. Yes, sir. You know, he was smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Agreed. As long as he picks his spots, his outside shot will be hard to block, no matter who's on it. Well, you often think of the Clippers as being an updated version of Showtime. They just had to get out and get a win, too. Yeah, I thought they were a little better defensively. They have guys that you know, certainly give you highlight reel material. But they're smart in how they attack teams and how they finish games, too. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Thompson, he's checked in for Mozgov. Jones comes in for Shumlin. Mike Miller's checked in for J.R. Smith. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Irving. Reddick with the bucket. And with the Clippers, I think a big part of how they can grind out a win if need be is that they know how to get to the free throw. 
L.A. has gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. It's tipped. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. All right, guys, a chance to look at some of the numbers for Paul. Over and over since the break, he's proven why he's always one to watch. He's right around 21 points a night, 11 assists, and four rebounds. And he really brings that offensive firepower to this team. Finding ways to score is his specialty. Yeah, that's his identity, Steve, among other contributions, obviously. But the ability to make plays that put up points, that's a major weapon in his arsenal. Well, one way or another, the Clippers, as you said, they'll find ways to score points, even if it means selling a call or two. But you do what you need to do to get wins, and most players are open to that. Lock at six. Reddit for three. Ball again. Jones. Second change shot. Blocked. In terms of rebounding, it's been a sensational opening quarter. I like sensational. That's a good word for it. Cleveland shooting their first free throws of the game. No good on that one. So both teams changing it up here. That one drops. He ties it up. Eight seconds left to play in the first. Crawford drives in. Fires the three. Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to get going again as this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports continues. Players are topped off with Gatorade, hydrated, and ready to get going again as well. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, Clark, Steve, what have they been doing or not doing? And I thought the key to that first quarter, guys, was the turnovers they faced with that aggressive defense. Well, the defense, as you said, Steve, has been really aggressive, and it's paid off for them a few times already. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So on the floor for Cleveland. Amon Shepard is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Irving. Then it's Mozgov. And it's Smith in at the shooting guard. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Well, guys, as we all know, LeBron James is now back in Cleveland, but he thinks his time in Miami will serve him well. As he said, Miami for me has been like college for other kids. I became a better player and a better man. I learned from a franchise that had been where I wanted to go. Kevin? He knows what it takes to win it all, Doris. Now he's trying to do it back home in Ohio. Thanks. Now Griffin inside. They double-team Griffin. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. Blake Griffin, arguably the top posterizer in the game. But opponents don't like being embarrassed, and they'll take a hard foul on him if need be. Some have said that Griffin needs to retaliate for his own well-being. He's got to go back at some of those guys. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Los Angeles on D. The Cavaliers again can't hit. You know, they haven't been able to open up a big lead, but the rebounds are starting to add up to them. They may be able to pull away a little bit. Yeah, they've been doing the dirty work inside, Steve, playing a very tough brand of basketball. And they double up Paul. Crawford with the ball. Now guarded by Shumper. Reddick for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Not sure why he's insisting on shooting from out there. It's just not working for him right now. Irving for three. And the shot is good. Irving's got the lead up to two now for the Cans. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Reddick for three. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. LeBron's got three rebounds now in this one. And that shot misses everything. Air ball on the three. Here's Jordan. 
And fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, that's smart basketball. You foul and you send a very poor free throw shooter to the line. Yeah, I think that's just smart. I mean, especially the way he's been throwing it down. Make him earn it at the strike. Oh, my God, I just got that. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Thompson, he's checked in for LeBron. Jones comes in for Shumper. Miller's checked in for Smith. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Kyrie Irving. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Barnes is checked in. There's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes in this defense. It should be easy to correct, though, if you start making the right rotations defensively. He's giving them little to nothing at the offensive end. I can't put it any other way. Terrific defensive play to cut him off and square up. And he took a shot. Excellent toughness to get in there and make a play. I love that kind of work. Back to Griffin. Oh, how about that basketball that fan? Beautiful. Wow. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatic. Oh, come on. Clark, he had to go for it, didn't he? Perhaps. I'm, with, I'm with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? Oh, he touched it while it was in the cylinder. That's offensive basket interference. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for J.J. Reddick. Ball passes to Crawford. And a great assist. Assist by Paul as that one goes in. Crawford's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. You know, an interesting statement came from the mouth of CP3 last year when he mentioned that he feels that Allen Iverson was the most influential player ever. Hmm, interesting. Most probably would have said Jordan. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin. Well, Coach Doc Rivers certainly hasn't minced words since joining the Clippers. He's held each player accountable and defined roles. He told DeAndre Jordan he wouldn't run any plays for him, that he just wanted him to focus on defense. Jordan said, Doc knows how to reach people. There are egos on every team, and he knows how to control all of that. It's honesty. Refreshing, gentlemen. Champion with the Celtics. He's one of the best coaches in the league. Thanks, Doris. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. James checked in for Tristan Thompson. Marion comes in for James Jones. Smith checked in for Mike Miller. And Kyrie Irving summed in for Matthew Delavidova. Irving kicks to James. Now the dish to Smith. The Cavaliers again can't hit. We talk about Allen Iverson's influence. You know, Chris Paul wears the number three jersey in honor of Iverson. Paul was about 10 years old when the answer started his NBA career. So a huge influence. Shumpert is checked in for Sean Mary. No good at the stripe this time. His second misses also. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game. Jordan kicks to Barnes. Paul outside. Griffin is green on LeBron. Paul dishes to Griffin. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got six assists in the game. Nobody near Irving. No good, unable to, and a tight game here as we end the first half. 